Mike, check. 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 One, check. two, one, two. Damn! One, two, one, two. Damn. Hey, this thing loud, boy. Yeah. Hey, this is turn of the I'll tell you just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. Hey, TT. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Most I Christ blessed. Welcome to another episode of TFT Radio Show, the final trumpet radio show. I'm your host, Officer Kalia. To my left. I mean, right. You see what my my, to my right, <laughs> <laughs> to my far right, <laughs> to my far right. Officer, get alive. Okay, and to my real left. <laughs> Officer, you want to talk? So. And to my real far left. Officer Marshall. And we are the Final Trouble Radio Show. It's That's been a it. while. It's been a couple weeks, man. It's been a couple weeks, man. A, a lot of work getting done. A lot yeah. of work getting done, yeah. man. Hey, we done been uh, hit a couple. We hit a couple blitzes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Told out some cities. Hey, shout out to the Booster Club. Uh, shout out to Bishop Kanai. Uh, listening party. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That thing was a great success, boy. Let me tell you, it was a good experience, man. Just sitting around watching the brothers and the sisters. You know, uh, you know, everybody get, get in, out of the normal element of how we operate into a more laid back zone. That thing was uh very interesting. You know, I had a good time. So shout out Pretty to Bishop Kanai. Uh, the album is gonna be dropping. Well, I think it's March twenty fourth or twenty fifth. I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but it's somewhere up in there. You know, uh, but yeah, we've been getting a lot done, man. Yeah, man. And in the midst of getting a lot done, you always got. The bull crap that's going on Bring it out. in society <laughs> with your people because we we crazy as hell. Powerful nigga. <laughs> there it is. Where, nigga where's the nigga. sound bite? It never, bite. Sound bite. It <laughs> never <laughs> ends. <laughs> so we're going to jump into some of this content, man, and get the day show popping. We appreciate y'all always tuning in. Continue to subscribe, like, support the, the, the radio show, man, and we, uh, we're uh trying to do big things over here in the Carolinas, all right? So, yeah, let's pull up the first uh, Negro of the Unbelievable. day. Unbelievable. So, yeah. so here we are. I see the, I see the, the shirt. The shirt. Hey, just put the, just put the, put it on the screen just to see the shirt. Right. And then look, that's all we want to see right oh, there, right God, now. It is. Oh, praise. You can break it back. <laughs> hey, listen. You already know it's been the shirt says "Niggas for Trump 2024." Mm. So you already know he's finna say, oh, but we don't even know everything that he's about to say." But you know, hey. Powerful Some powerful niggas. Some powerful niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell a book by its cover. Right? You can. We know uh, that. Hey, let's go ahead and run. Let, let's see what this brother talking about. This guy seems to have the correct view of the political landscape. I'm here to support okay. President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt, niggas for Trump 2024. What do you think about the indictment? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fannie Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my son. So she full of shit. She was full of shit. And she's a puppet for the white liberal that, that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. Do you think it's going to help his election? 
Of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. We should uh, make him king. Boy, nah, oh it's no way nothing He nah, can't make it up. King, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He for that. Yeah, Trump for king 2024. Oh, my name is niggas for Trump 2024. <laughs> Derek Gibson, a former, That's my nigga. former <laughs> candidate. <laughs> I'm a former candidate for New York State Governor Derek Gibson. This guy, she hey, check this out now. Can't you can't make, you make powerful nigger <laughs> work here. You can't make this up, but here's the thing. That is that's sad, bro. Right, that's on it's, another level. It's, it's 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 really sad. You know what I mean? A lot a lot of times we put things up. You know, you know you joke a little bit with it, but that's the real frozen psychological state of black men. Right, destroyed, destroyed, Dang. fully destroyed. You know, he 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 doing it to be funny, but it ain't it ain't really funny. You no, know, he, no, hey, no, hey no. it ain't funny, and he doing it to be funny, and he's serious at the same time. He's dead serious oh, about it. Yeah. He oh, yeah, dead serious. Yeah, he meant that thing. Yeah. He meant everything he said. Talking about Trump for king. Bro. Now, what, what has Trump done for black people? Besides buy them down, uh, create some shoes that niggas sold out. Yeah. Right. Hey, pull up that, pull up that next article. Uh, hey, you know what, though? What's up? I mean, you talk about this with Trump, you know. Everybody seems to forgot the forgot the uh, Central Park Five. Right. Damn. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, well, still, that's still on Netflix, too. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Still on Netflix. So they can still watch the movie, but they don't. Our people don't want to know nothing about history. They all wouldn't watch that fake, mm-hmm. fake yeah. bull crap. Yeah, that gift destroys the heart because, you know, under Trump, you know, Negroes got a lot of stimulus checks. There you yeah, go. Right. And exactly. And they was like, there you know, go. we ain't never had this much money come outside of the income tax checks. So, you know, Trump got to be about us. He's for us. Yeah. And that's why we'll sit up there and say, my name is niggas for Trump. You can't make that stuff. That's right. terrible. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, let's... uh. Yeah, read that real quick. Oh, read hey, it. hey, 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 because they talking about vote. Before we, can we get a script before we get Yeah, it? I was going to get through the round of me. Hey, yeah, right. Yeah, all right, get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, let's get we, that. before we do that. He said Trump for king. Well, shoot, if you was going to bring it, you no, got no, it no. then. No, 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 no. Hey, you bring it out. Bring right, it bring it out. Do the round of me. Do the round of me. You know. <laughs> 17. Let's get that. 17, 15. Let's get it. My good man. Here we go. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, mm-hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Go ahead. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. You know what? Black people don't even root for black people. No. But you got black people rooting for Edomite that that make shoes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we about to that, talk made, that, that made us a, a, a shoe specifically. Who said he's going to vote for Trump because Trump is being indicted or going through his legal issues, and it's the same thing black people. Right, do. right. He put he put his his what is how, what was it? Millions? I, you can't even put it in words. It was millions upon millions of dollars. Four hundred fifty-five. There it is. Look, I ain't even know the number. See, that's why. That, like, come with stats. Oh, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Right. Hey, Thank shout you. out with hey, 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 listen. Hey, yeah, break, bring it. We got Officer Get a Light on the what show. Right, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, see, bombs on it. Hey, too, see, right? what, hey, we got a hey, big up the big officer get alive, man. He right. feeling in, you know, he ain't really feeling in. He's a part of the show, but right. you know, you know, hey, he's here today, right. and he brings a new dynamic right. to the show, right. man. Right. You gotta be here every week. See, I'm coming. I'm there right. it is. Hey, now go ahead with what you're saying, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go no, ahead. Bring I'm, that thing I'm just, I was just saying that that was a big 455 million dollar fine they threw on him. Uh huh. You know, and speaking about the sneakers, that's to help him to pay bond for that thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he could appeal. Right, right. So you had that going on, and our people talking about make him king, and comparing his struggle with ours. We ain't got no four hundred something million dollars. That's what I'm talking you about. can't even make right. this stuff up. Right. All right, let's read the scripture again. I'm sorry, I don't want to take us no, away. No, no, go ahead, man. Do your thing. Yes, we sir. got plenty of time. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So of course we know who our king is. That's Christ. Go ahead. One from among thy brethren. One from among your people. Go ahead. Shalt thou set king over thee. Go ahead. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, Uh which is not thy brother. You can't make this stuff up. That's what the law says. Right. And our people break this law. That's why they have it. Our people caught up in all kinds of politics, stuff that ain't got nothing to do. 400 something million dollars ain't got nothing to do with us. I can tell you that right now. Right. Hey, let me get the verse right before that. Verse 14. Yeah. Because this is the problem. See, the, the reason why God had to give us laws, because he already knew how we think. Go ahead and read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 14. Go ahead. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, uh-huh. and shalt possess it, 
and shall dwell therein. So God already gives us certain things. He, he gives us the instruction on how to handle it. But this is where we fall off the horse. Read the next part. <laughs> and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations. Like as what? Like as all the nations. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That are about me. So we start to envy those people that God really wanted us to rule over. Right. We start to choose their ways and want to be just like them. Now we find ourselves advocating for those same people that, that hate dude us. dude said right. his name is niggas for Trump. And he meant that. And he, he meant that. He want Trump for king, as a Trump matter of fact. Trump for king. That thing is crazy. Hey, read that dude. Read verse 15 again. Verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set, it, set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose. How do you, it says whom the Lord thy God shall choose? So, the Lord, the Lord is choosing. The the the, the Lord choose Trump. <laughs> you, look, uh, you let the Negro tell it. Right. You ask the woman pastor. They trying to say uh, Trump is equivalent to Christ. When you know when the transfiguration of Christ, Elijah, and Moses. They trying to say. Trump is Christ now. Stop it. Uh, no, 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 no. Are you for real? I'm dead serious. Lewis. There is a clip where there's a white evangelical pastor saying that Trump is equivalent to Christ. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. Yeah, that, right. That's hey, literal. That's because black I people. Know that. That's because black people crazy. <laughs> hey, that literal. That's Lewis the thing. Lewis Farrakhan back in Trump. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. You're 100. percent Farrakhan back in him. Yep. Hey, hey, finish the finish the script. Read it again. Bang. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren. Now, even if we said, you know what, let's look towards our our people and see who among us fits the status of a ruler to be over us, to guide us. We our, Us in this mental state that we're in right now, we would kill that nigga. Right, right. But we would we would literally be against setting somebody up to rule over us if if our minds was halfway right and dealing with the scriptures in the in the right perspective. If we had common enough sense to say, you know what, something wrong with our community. Let's find us a leader among, from amongst ourselves and let him guide us. Right. Black people would destroy that man. Right. Yeah. And, would and, destroy and, that man. Would set him up, then kill him. Yeah. And the leader that they get Acts three real quick because our Pete, the leader that that they want. They, the leader that we need as a nation of people that's going to be about the Most High's kingdom and about right. better in our community, our people don't want that. Acts no. 3 and 14. Because right. yeah, they, they did the same exact thing here. Acts chapter 3, verse 14. Go ahead. But ye denied the Holy One and the just. Because our people denied the Holy One and the just. They denied Christ, telling them to get their lives together so that we can now rule over Trump's ancestors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read on. And desired a murderer. They desired a who? A murderer. A, a rapper, a damn basketball player. A comedian. A, a comedian, right? A, a right. gang leader, whatever. They desired a murderer, then what? To be granted unto you. To be granted unto us. To be delivered to that, to be a part of our nation, to be a part of our community. So that's just the mindset of our people. That's now, all I got. Now, go, let's go, let's look at this article. Uh, scroll up. Is this the one we want? Trump hawks 399 branded shoes <laughs> Jesus <Christ. laughs> at SneakerCon a day after 355 million ruling against him. Hey, play that real quick. Mm, that's crazy. Play that real quick. I just want to tell you, you know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I... Dude, uh -oh. the color of his tie. <laughs> right. <laughs> he is him. red. <laughs> oh, snap. That's his go-to. Hey, the shoes is the same color as his damn hair. <laughs> right, right, right. And he got the red bottom. Oh, <laughs> damn. The shoes wow. like he himself. better shoot that look like himself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Damn, hey, keep it right there. The thought look, of them is Look deep. at the red. <laughs> <laughs> the white. <laughs> the gold. Hey, he is the shoe. He hey, man. He is the shoe, hey, yo. Hey, eat him oh, is a trip, bro. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Damn. All right, play that. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. I can't. They came Look at up my with this. Never wear this. This is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years. And I think it's going to be a big success. I bet you do. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. <laughs> What's the most important thing? To go out and vote, right? 
We have to go out and vote. We got to get young people out to vote. Yeah. And you're going to vote, and we're going to turn this thing around. This country's not doing so well. We're going to turn this country around fast. We're going to turn it around fast. <laughs> and we're going to remember the young people. And, and he ain't talking about young white people. No. You know that. It's a slightly different audience that I'm used to, but I love this audience. There you go. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it is. I bet. Yeah, it's different Bring audience. it out, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah good. <laughs> <laughs> Bring but, it out, B. Hey, so look, go pull up the next article because he says he said I think these yeah. this is gonna be the sneakers. They're gonna be a great success. Right. Let's see how successful. Go to the next article. <laughs> he said it's let's see. not a normal. This audience. This is not a normal audience. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see what 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 they're thinking really is when it comes to the success of the sneaker. I want the video of the uh the the, the interview. The reporter, dude. the reporter. Yeah. Yeah. Fox News. Uh yeah you you we can play that one first you can play that one. Because I said he is the shoe. <laughs> he is the shoe. <laughs> Literally. Come on, it. What's going on? Think about you. Just watch Fox News like this weekend when they gushed over Donald Trump's new ploy for money, a limited edition series of gaudy gold four hundred dollar Trump sneakers. And like they always do on Fox, somebody said the quiet part out loud on what the big sneaker strategy is really all about even the sneaker thing i was on social media last night very interesting as you see black support eroding from joe biden this is connecting with black america because they love sneakers they're interested unbelievable. In pause it, pause it, pause it, pause unbelievable this is why the sneaker thing was a great idea and a success to help trump get out of debt Right. Mm -hmm. That's what he's at four hundred and what fifty five million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think he I think he said it was limited to a what a thousand per. Yeah. Mm. So a thousand per that four hundred and something million. I don't so know what the math is. What's the math? Four hundred dollars. That's dollars. that's four hundred thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars. So that's ten percent. Ten percent of the oh. uh, of what he of uh, uh, to get everything rolling. Right. Bro, <laughs> play on, but play black people. Right. They know Roughly black people 10%. love sneakers. They love sneakers. They're, black <laughs> America is going to support this thing. The black community because black crazy. people love shoes. Right. Mm. Play on. This is connecting with black America because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, th this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. So pause it. So pause. We ain't. In other words, I'm, he I'm said, pissed. "We don't got no man. common sense. We don't understand no, politics. We stupid, yeah, right? we stupid. Right. We don't understand politics. Right. We 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 understand sneakers. Hey, Damn. hey, we can we can get played by him just as we do the Democrats every four years. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Like they don't. The, it's it's so big amongst the black community because, <laughs> I mean, look at they them. Love they shoes. love shoes. They aren't even thinking about the politics. We gotta. We we have to change the dynamic." Of this, how can Trump supporters watch Fox News and think black black Trump black supporters sports. watch this stuff, and they look at that and they don't see that that's a mockery against themselves nah. and our people? Mm. Nah, they looking at they the shoes like you know, they, they, hey, I got I got them Trumps. You know what I'm saying? Wow, wow, wow! They, they envy yeah, the oppressors so much mm. that they don't even consider that they have a people to care for. Right, mm -hmm. that's what it is. But can you I, know what though? It's like, but they don't care. Right, they don't. They don't care. I mean, we could sit up here and we watch this, and this is going 10 miles over our damn heads. You know? Right, right. I mean, this dude came out and basically said, yo, them the stupid niggas. And right, because that's, that's the that's level. That's what he said. That's, right. that's, that's talking what he, about. he's talking about. We had to get on a level. <laughs> right. right. A low, low level for right. our people. <laughs> right, they, right. He knows that. Let's hey, get that. Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. It, we got to look at it through the lens of, of what God says. All right, uh, by word, proverb. Yes, what? sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Go ahead. A proverb. That's mm. what they just did. Yeah. You, Negroes, this is how they say, Negroes don't really understand politics. They no. don't understand that when we push these laws and these policies, it doesn't matter to uh, for them, to them, doesn't apply to them. But what they do understand. Is giving us money. They understand making us rich. And we will mock them in how we make ourselves rich because they don't know no better. Right. They don't have any sense of God with them. They don't. 
So we become Proverbs. Read on. And a byword. And a byword. That's why I'll say, well, what's your name, sir? <laughs> My name is Niggas, niggas for Trump. For Trump. Mm -hmm. right. Niggas wow. for Trump. Yo, dumb ass. Right. <laughs> Read on. Among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. And then when they start to mock us to our faces to show us who they really are, well, you call yourself a nigga, so why can't I call you a nigga? Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, you ever had that one that, that one Edomite that was among you in, in, in school? In school, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He thought it was he, he was so cool that he could say nigga. Right. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I, 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 Not, I yeah, I didn't, I didn't hang with them. No, nah, <laughs> but you, but you knew, I know what but you know, about. but you knew of them, <laughs> right? But you knew them. They thought they, you always got them Edomites. They around, they around Jake, and they think you know what? I can, I, I can say nigga. Right. I watched the Edomite get hit in his. I'm talking about he got smashed so hard. So hard, it was. It, I, hey, I almost felt sorry for him. Almost. <laughs> hey, but you, 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 <laughs> he one thing I just want to bring out was that you know, but we prove it every time. Mm -hmm. Right. Every four years, they come to the black churches. Yeah. They, right. they come to these black events. We need your vote. Right. We need your, and it's an automatic. They get our vote. Yeah. And don't give us. Don't give us nothing. <laughs> you said it right. Don't give a shit. Right. Don't, don't, right. We get nothing out of the vote that we give them. Nothing. And they know that every four years, that's all we got to do. That's it. Because we prove it every time. So, But this year, he's like, you know what? I got an idea. Right. Oh, right. Some, some gold shoes. Some gold shoes, like my <laughs> hair. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, with red, with red bottoms on it. Unbelievable. Niggas they like that. Right. We they bringing up red bottom stuff. We bringing up a point. Hey, IT team, look up the movie Spook sitting next to the door. It's at the beginning of the movie uh -huh. where uh, the, the character, they, they start uh, putting more black men into the CIA. Right. So it became a policy. But what was happening is an election was coming up, and the man was actually talking to his black secretary like, hey, why don't I have the black vote? Why, why did I drop down yeah, in the black it. polls? Yes, yes. All right, yeah, see if y'all can pull that up. Hey, why you pull that up? Are you, you done with that verse? Yes, sir. I jump, over, jump over to verse 48, though. Mm -hmm. Jump over to verse 48. Yeah. Mm. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So we have yet to realize because we have fallen to this lowest, this stupidest state mm. that they have put us in and that we we fail to, to come out of by educating ourselves, one, and by keeping the commandments of, 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 of our Lord and Savior of this Bible, we fail to come out of this state. We continue this, like I said all the time, we chasing our tail. We're in that same circle. Read right. that again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So in this state, we're going to serve our enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger and in thirst. So we already go to them for hunger, for thirst. We go to them for food, water. Come on. And in nakedness. For them clothes and them shoes. Niggas. Them damn sneakers. Right. This is the Gold reason. <laughs> this is the reason why we stuck on them damn sneakers. Right, we can't help it. But right. this is hey, this is a part of the curse. Right, for real. This is a part of the. That's this sad. is the curse that is falling upon our people. We stuck on shoes. I can't. Hey, listen. I I I gotta admit it, cause I'm the one that got damn all them damn. Jordan don't give a damn about black people. No, but I got all them. Hey, I, 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 I'm cutting myself. I'm, I'm willing to admit my fault. I'll stop buying Jordans, especially after sitting down with Bishop right, I got and, and, and Deacon Jordan Malachi. Right now. I yeah, got you got Jordan. Right. See, I'm, I'm cut. I'm yeah, cut. be cut. Okay, so be, we, be cut. The, 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 the script saying we have to serve. <laughs> we have be to cut. Serve. Yeah, but we gotta realize like this is this is a part of like why 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 do we really need the Jordans like. Why do we need? Why do we need the fancy shoes? Hey. It ain't gonna change our condition. Nah, we no. like to fake like it is, though. Hey, and that's, that's a good question. That's a, I can cut it real quick. Yeah, go, go ahead. 20, get Jeremiah six and thirteen, then we go right back to officers. Mm. Uh, joint. Hey, bring it he up. says, "Why do we need the Jordans?" Right? Trump and everybody else knows, and and we listening into the curses now in Deuteronomy twenty eight. So that means we're at a very low estate now right, to have to right. depend on them for everything. Read that, Jeremiah six and thirteen. Yeah, Jeremiah chapter six verse thirteen. Go ahead. For from the least of them, uh -huh. even unto the greatest. So that's of them. your Louis Farrakhan's voting for Trump. That's your little black boy that's going to school. He wants to go to everybody. All these Negroes want to vote for Trump now. From the least of them, even to the greatest of them. Why? I read. Mm. Every one is given to covetousness. We're given the covetousness because we don't aspire to have anything else. We we think a pair of sneakers is what's going to make us feel good about ourselves. Because of the curses that we're under today. Mm -hmm. You understand that? All of us are given the covetousness. Read. 
and from the prophets. Our spiritual leaders, go ahead. Even unto the priests. Uh-huh. Every one dealeth falsely. Because they know damn well they're getting paid to, to coerce right. our people yep. into voting for Donald Trump. Right. You know what I mean? They all deal falsely when it comes to our people. That's why Christ said, beware of covetousness. Right. right? That's our main issue. You might go back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go back, go back to Deuteronomy. Go back to Deuteronomy. And then we're going to get the spook that sat by the door uh, uh, clip real quick. Swaps Marshall. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. What? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Even to this day. Even with, with Trump even running for office, it shows that we still have an affinity to look for reparations and to look for guidance, to look for salvation from our enemies. With all the hell that we done been through, we still look for that. We are the people of the curse. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in want of all things. Everything, anything we want, we look to them. Right. So especially when the the, the 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 main part about this is that nakedness, because that that's what them shoe them shoes fall under that clothing mm -hmm. and, and, and and our with our desires. Mm -hmm. Because we want the fanciest things, we want we want the glamorous things. That shoe was not made for no other people. No. Now he could put it out there as though, hey, this shoe um is for is for the white liberals. When or you seen them wear them, man, this man. Where that. <laughs> when, when I'm gonna tell you. Seen them wear them things. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something about me. Like when this was Friday, Friday uh, uh, preparing for the uh, for Sabbath. I went. To, I had to go get some 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 dog food. Mm -hmm. you, I had to go get some dog food. I go try to supply. So I go. I'm, I'm I'm get out of the car, walking in to try to supply. I see the Edomite walking out. He got this regular old plain ass shirt. This a regular plain shirt. Right. Uh -huh. So I'm looking at him, and as I'm walking past him, I'm thinking to myself, "We stupid as hell." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They go and they go, they shop and, and they go buy the cheapest bit of clothes. So I walk in and I'm looking at the clothes right. Some said, go look at the price on it. So I went right over there to the shirt. You know how much the shirt was? Seven miles. Six dollars, bro. <laughs> Six dollars. And bro. we go buy a t-shirt no. that's worth a hundred. Yeah, right. We go, we go right. spend them fifty-five dollars on a regular on, on a size to a two X damn shirt. And it just got not a check on it. <laughs> that, yeah, right. A check or a horse on there. Yeah. You can't I make said, I said, you know what? We stupid as hell. Right. We stupid. We look at them. They, I, I looked over there. You the mice. They over there looking at the boots and the shoes. I'm like, you know what? They just they 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 know how to save their money. Right. Hey, we buy clothes and shoes. They buying guns and damn Ammo. <laughs> ammunition. You know what I'm saying? Got to be careful, bro. They can't pay their rent. They can't pay our damn rent. Hey, let's get that uh article that 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 uh clip yeah. real quick. Fast forward to where they uh, are. It's at the beginning. Fast forward to where they're sitting. You'll see the secretary. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right there. The Negroes are the trouble spot. The Negroes. I'm the best friend those people have in Washington. Damn! Mm -hmm. Didn't Joe Biden Sheesh, say that? Sheesh! Go so back! Joe Biden Sheesh! <laughs> Go back, wow. go back. Hey, we gonna make sure we don't hey, do the strike. But Everything what, they say, we watch be this. On. Watch this. She should have been offended. I know it's a movie, but the, the, right, the offense should have been right there. He says, "I'm the best thing that those people right. have." Right. That, those those people, people. The hell you mean? Hmm. I'm those people. Right. <laughs> but because she's tapped in with him, right. she, she got. She, she, she checked out. Right. She checked out. She helping him out. Yeah. Go ahead. Read. Uh, play on. The Negroes are the trouble spot. The Negroes. I'm the best friend those people have in Washington. How dare those niggas turn their back on me? Go ahead. immediately after your law and order speech last winter. He looking crazy. Don't mm -hmm. look crazy. All right, all right. Well, let's see if we can come up with some ideas here. Pause it. That's them. Give me that script. Yeah, right. they, 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 you, you know what I want? You know what I want? Hey, he immediately, hey, look, he started walking around. So, yeah, mm -hmm. get to thinking, hold on, how can, how, 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 how can we deal with this? Did you see how the white folk looked at each uh -huh. other? Yeah, because when you had that law and order speech, you were talking reckless about those niggas. Uh -huh. you, you actually called them, uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, predator, super predator. Right, right, right. You called right. them some de uh, degrading names right, right, in right. that law and order speech. Hey, you got that? Read that. Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. This is what you just watched after, yep. she, after she made the statement. This is what you just saw. He said, the hell, what's going on? Read that. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, uh -huh. O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, uh -huh. and they that hate thee 
have lifted up the head. Come on. They have taken crafty counsel. This is what's going on right here. Mm. Now they're using the sister because she's in the community. She's a like, she, you you you're a part of that community. Like you know how they think, you know how they act, you know what right. they want. Yep. Why don't I have their vote? Read that part again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. How do we get them niggas to vote? Right. Let's create a damn shoe. Mm. A shoe. Come on. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They are cons this is what they eat to today, then and now. They are consulting against us, read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh -huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right, let's go back to the video. Yeah. Now. First, how do we retrieve the lost Negro black vote? Uh. Gil, why don't we accuse the CIA? With a racially discriminatory hiring policy. Oh, shoot. We have no Negroes, except on a menial level, you know. Certain, but I mean, that may be it. I'm positive, but I'll check it out with our man over at personnel. Good. Whoever they select will be the best known spy since 007. Well, stop. Damn. Stop right there. Get Psalm 94, verse 20. Bring it out. Because what they did, it was a political move. So it was already said that black folk don't understand politics, but this is what God understands about politics. But that's right. what the Edomite said on the uh, on the interview. That's what I'm saying. Come on. So read that. Psalm 94, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 94, verse 20. Uh-huh. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? So black man, when the Bible says the throne of iniquity, guess who that is? Right. That is Esau, I do me Edom. If you don't understand those terms, guess who that really is? Your friendly neighborhood white man. <laughs> The throne of iniquity, that throne, that, that kingdom set upon sin is your neighborhood white man, okay? It says that he's going to do what? Read it again from top. Yes, sir. Shall, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with Shall people? you vote for the kingdom that's set upon sin? Right. Read on. Which frameth mischief by a law. So that's exactly what we saw in that movie. Mm -hmm. They're framing mischief. They're going to accuse one of their other... Uh, Friendly neighborhood white man. Hey, you're not hiring enough black people. Let's give them jobs. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've seen this movie, you'll realize that after all the accusations amongst white folk, they done took all, they're going to take all our black men through a rigorous program to join the CIA. Yep. And guess what they made him do? They made him a paper pusher. All he was doing was working, was working a printer. Yep. So he learned all the top secret. He, he's going to be better than 007, but all he was hired to do was make copies of paper. Of paper. Well, you. damn. That's what they do to the black man. Make you work hard and then give you a menial job. And they only gave him the job so they can get the black vote. Right. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Is that it on that uh, video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that all you want off that That's video? all I wanted. All right, drop the video, and let's go back to the, uh, what was it? The Fox News uh, report. Yeah. Yep, right there. Like Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. Come on. Reaching them on a level that defies Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. Right yeah, go ahead. I yeah. had to wait because I didn't see it earlier. I had to wait. Uh huh. Go back, go back a few seconds. He says, Watch his hands. A level. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Watch his hands. Uh -huh. He's telling us that we stupid. And he gonna even demonstrate it even with sign language. Hit play. Watch the hands go below. Certainly in in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching the mm. level. That you see this hand go down. Right. He went down. Saying Trump yes. went down. Right. Right. To reach black people. Right. And then our black people continue to vote. For these people, right. I talk to the, talk about them. Like talk about us, these people. Right, right. At right. it. but our people, we are, we are, we don't even hear it like that. And the dude, literally, he said, unbelievable. Okay. He said, yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Trump. He he he. he He's reaching them on a <laughs> level. <laughs> that right. oh, 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 what you mean? Right. He said, reaching down. That's exactly mm -hmm. what he mean, but black people don't even see it like that. See, I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna pull y'all up to pol to a political level by giving y'all some sneakers to buy. Four hundred dollars. Wow. Now. More than Jordans. Damn. Damn. Play on. Play on. Play on. Play on. Level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. 
the the, the wait, culture. Wait, wait, see, wait. see, see, Stop. see, see. Did you see, see the craftiness? See, right. see. He yeah. said he's reaching them on a level, and then he goes. That's that the buff de- that defies policy. Right. But then he says, <laughs> Get that good battery, bro. he says that culture will always trump politics. Mm. So our culture is sneakers. Right. Our culture is sneakers. Our rap. culture is rap. Right. Uh, our fashion. Fashion. Yeah. That's our culture. You see, what, you, you see what's going on here? Right. You see what's going on here? Unbelievable. You find that suspicious. We have let them define us by materialistic clothing. Right. See? See, that right. we don't control. That's where right. you're going. That's crazy. This Dang. is crazy, man. That is. That's. Play on. That's cool. This is cool. He's really it's cool. cool. <laughs> it's cool. Come on, Blake. On a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Mm. You can't make Hold on. Stuff. Let's see what the brother say. Why didn't I think of this when I ran the RNC? Let's see. Black folks love sneakers, and we can paint them gold. This can't miss. Trust me, it's a big miss. And they ugly as hell. <laughs> Angela Carasone watches a lot of Fox as the president and CEO of Media Matters for America, and he joins me now. $400 kicks? <laughs> gold? Are they really this cynical over there at Fox? Yeah, and you know, this same guy, uh, about a year ago when Trump's mugshot came out, said that black people can, quote, relate to Donald Trump now and that it was actually going to increase his black support. Stop. Oh, stop. Yeah. Now, the problem is, is they don't understand. See, you got a black man that don't understand his own people Thank neither. You. Exactly. Right. Thank you. That's exactly got, what's going on here. And he's mocking as well. Right. Because you, so he's saying that black people... Can't really, you know, this same guy says that black people can't relate to Trump. Ain't that what the black dude just said in the clip, niggas, the niggas for Trump? For Trump. Right. He just wow. said that Trump is going through what black people go through. Right. Not Trump. understanding all, all day, the, ne- the Negro mind is a phenomenon. Bro, a it, is, it, is un- it is unreal, man. Yeah. Unreal. I'm telling you. Wow. In America. Let's play it. Good point, officer. Good point. Same guy. Uh, about a year ago when Trump's mugshot came out, said that black people can, quote, relate to Donald Trump now and that it was actually going to increase his black support because he had... Quote, How can we relate to Donald Trump? It's just like the thing with um, Bill Clinton when he when he got, you know... Sex yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they said that we can relate to Bill Clinton because he, he got some joint from, from old girl. Yeah. yeah. And then he smoked weed. Like, like what, what level are we as a people when we're being associated or we associate ourselves with the, the Edomites that do degenerate, wicked, evil things. They, they tell right, us what right. we are. They saying that we don't, that our people don't relate, That's but bullshit. we see in the polls right. Right. <laughs> that our people go and do this stuff and the, and based the, off of that. The level that they uh, relate us to, they're able to relate us to that level because they know that they have pushed us down right. that so total bad. Right. You know what yep. I'm saying? They uh, they understand yeah. that we're a people that's trying to come out of a deep ditch. Right, right. You know what I mean? But they're con- they're constantly filling the ditch with filth. Right. You know what I mean? Glamorous, glorious little filth that we, well, things that we we perceive as uh, success, mm-hmm. things we perceive as fashionable, right. things that we perceive as a uh, uh, fashion or the riches of this world that really ain't. That they push it into that hole to keep our minds busy with dallying with all of the stuff yep. in this hole. We we trying to come out of the hole, but they understand as long as we keep putting. Filth in the in 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 this big hole. Right. They they. This is what they want. We have what they want. Let's get it. But this is what the officer was saying earlier. To keep the covetousness within us. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's the formula. Exactly. Every Let's time. I, I gotta get it. Uh, I I need two scripts. Proverbs three and thirty one. Let's start there because this is the culture that we have been given here yep. in America. Let's get that. And then I want to. And then after that, we're gonna get God's culture for us. All right. Let's get that. You got it. Sir, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Go ahead. Envy thou not the oppressor. So that's where the covetousness starts. We start to see the ways of the other nations, and we want that thing. Yeah. Right. They look so happy while they're celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving, but all the while they're celebrating our destruction as a people. Right. So we start to covet yep. the destruction of our people. Read on. And choose none 
of his those race. ways of the other nations are going have always killed us and will continue to kill us. And but we now call that culture. Right. Yeah. They make money off of our stupidity. Now, hey, facts, bro. It, it is what it is. Yeah. They make money off of our stupidity, and then they give us they give us uh, shares. Yeah, it's a share. It's modern day sharecropping. Right, and they give us back a stimulus. They say, "Oh, you like that? Oh, this is nothing anyway. Here, I'll take some of that. Yeah. Take twelve. In fact, in fact, here's the price on it. If you really want it, here, here you go. Right. So now let's get God's culture for us. Get Sirach seventeen and verse eleven. Because we got to know the difference between the two. If God is going to tell us to not envy our oppressor, all right, Lord, what what is my culture? And then the Bible clearly explains it. Let's get that. Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. And I want you to read it slow, because sometimes we slow as a people. We got to read things slow. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read. Mm -hmm. Beside this, he gave them. Who is the them? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. He gave us knowledge. He also gave us a God-given name with the Israelites. Go ahead. Beside right. this, he gave them knowledge. Knowledge is what God gave us. Read on. And the law of life. And the law that brings forth life within us, which brings forth value, which brings forth no positive notoriety. Read. For inheritance. For a heritage. Another word for heritage is culture. Right. With culture, you should be passing that down throughout generations to give more wisdom to the children that are going to come up and represent the name of our family. Right. We got to stop with the foolishness, and Trump ain't it. No. Hey, before, we've been beating Trump across the head for an hour. We're going to switch it up. But before we do, give me. Uh, That's in the spirit of destruction. Yeah. I mean, can't, though. That's, we got to feel that. We got to feel <laughs> yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, before we, we do. Head. Right. We need all that. Let me get Psalms 37, <laughs> verse 1. Let me get started. We're going into the same thing that uh, I was just bringing out, dealing with how they we envy the oppressor. We want what they what they have. We think the things that they create for us is, or the things that they create for themselves, we should take upon ourselves. Nah, we got we got to learn to cut that thing off and deal with our own. Like we got brothers that make shoes. Right. We got brothers right. that make clothes. We got to deal with our people, man. Right. Right. Come on. Right. Read that. Psalms chapter 37, verse 1. And I ain't talking about Sean, John. I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the brother. Right. I'm talking about a brother that's that's literally can that that take a needle and some thread and he can he can make a decent pair of shoes. We got designers. Yeah. Right. yeah we got a designer of shoes here. Right. Yeah. So right. why can't we start to, even though we don't control the textile, why can't we find a way to start getting what we need to prepare and make our own stuff? It ain't gotta look like Jordan. Right. No. And it shouldn't we should like be Jordan. pilgrims on the earth. Until Christ come back. Right. But this is what we were just discussing last night about, you know, as far as Passover. And yeah. Being able to support ourselves, get what we need for ourselves, amongst ourselves. Right. Right. You know, same thing. Right. Hey, read that. Same thing. Fret not thyself because of evil. The Lord say, don't don't fret. You you can you know who the evil doers are. You can see them in plain sight. Mm. It's the so-called white man. It's the heathens amongst us. Right. Don't fret yourselves over the power that they have to produce things mass, but with with mass production to push out to us. Don't fret ourselves over evildoers. Come on. Neither be thou envious against the workers yeah. of iniquity. Don't be envious of them right. because they are able to come up with some damn gold sneakers, and they've trained you to love sneakers. Right. Right. They've trained you to love fashion in a way. You got pictures of them. Uh, Kanye West out here with a boot on this damn, be oh, damn, 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 damn boot. Idiot. Come all the way up to his <laughs> leg, bro. <laughs> what the hell? You got brothers walking around here with big, like these, you see these big old shoes? They, yeah. they call this fashion, bro. This ain't fashion. God says, be not envious of these people. Read down to verse two. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass. Lord said, these evil dudes gonna be soon cut down like the grass. Come on. And wither as the green Earth. And they're going to wither away as the green herb. When that's happening right now, as we continue to push this truth out to right. our people, bro. Right. We got to right. come out of that mindset. All right? right. Crazy. Got, got these mother looking like they walking around with yeah. space suits. On. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> read, read verse 3. Read verse 3. Trust in the Lord. Do what? Trust in the Lord. We got to come back to the commandments of God, man. Come on. And do good. Do good. Read. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily shalt thou shalt be fed. So if we want to be fed... If we want, if we want the riches of this earth, and we want to be fed, mm -hmm. we gotta follow the commandments of God, man. Right. We gotta trust in the Lord. Go ahead. Verse four, 
Yeah, come on. Yeah, 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 we yeah, yeah. we can read all the way down. Come on. Hey, read it now. Read on. Verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Uh-huh. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So you mean to tell me he, he ain't going to give us no gold sneakers. He's going to give us gold. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> not gold. Not not painted sneakers gold. He's going to give us the gold of the earth. Right. Exactly. Come on. Read on. We might well go through it. Not here. Yeah. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Trust also in him. Come on. And he shall bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. Read on. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness uh -huh. as the light. Read. And thy judgment as the noonday. Read. Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently. Wait patiently for him. For him. Come on. For him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth, prospereth. prospereth in his way. He prospereth in his way. He, and he said, you know what? Let me think real quick. How do I get 400,000? You know what I'm saying? I know what. Create some shoes for niggas. That'll prosper me. You know what I'm saying? I can prosper real quick. I can try to, you know what I'm saying, get start on this debt that I go read on. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. He bringeth wicked devices to pass, man. Yeah. Come on. Cease from anger uh -huh. and forsake wrath. Uh -huh. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Read. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. We're going to that inherit the that earth. Is, that's that is crazy. Give, give me my damn inheritance. That's it. That's, <laughs> all, that's, that's, Lord, what, that's what we want. That. I want no damn gold sneakers right. that look like your gold right. hair with your red bottom tie on it now. Right. right. Forget all that. That's how you got the sisters, though, the bottom uh -huh. shoes, the red bottoms. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you put them. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hey, uh, so, yeah, Trump. We're not voting for you. Well, at least uh, if you're righteous, you're not going to vote for right. Trump. If you're righteous, you ain't going to vote for none of these damn heathens. Right. You're going to follow what the Bible right. says. All right? Uh, What we got next on that? What we got next on the list? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. Uh, dang. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's pull this up. So we got, we, we got, we got brothers out here mm. and they foolishness. This goes on ramp, rapidly. Across the globe, you know, and I don't know what's wrong with this generation right here, but right. they got they they evil as hell when it comes to their kids, bro. Yep. Mentally, just weak. They're getting worse and worse, bro. Right. Spiritually, mentally, they just play that. Yeah, Whatever. play that. Ugly. And we're continuing <laughs> coverage on the death of a 20-month-old toddler. Her 19-year-old father, Akeem Jamal Jordan, and 20-year-old Raheem Farrell are accused of killing her after fighting and injuring the baby's grandmother. So, it's two people? It's two brothers? No, it actually sounds like, was that the mother and the father? The father, the no, 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 yeah, it was the father. And the grandmama. It's the father of the child. the kid? Yeah, run it back again. We're continuing coverage on the death of a 20-month-old toddler. Her 19-year-old father, Akeem Jamal Jordan, and 20-year-old Raheem Farrell are accused of killing her. That's two brothers. That's two dudes. Wow. So the father. That's the father and his damn friend, I guarantee. So father, friend, or father and his brother or something. Come on. Cha went to the Flamingo Drive home where it all started to gather more information. The family of 20-month-old Bella Jordan are still picking up the pieces a day after she was killed. They say that they're still trying to process what happened. Family members did not want to speak on camera, but they said they were cleaning up the home after the gruesome attack early Wednesday morning. Makenya Hutchings says Janet Dorn, the woman 19-year-old Akeem Jordan attacked, is her mother and lives at the Flamingo Drive home. So he attacks, he attacks, oh, pause it, he attacks his daughter's mother. Is that what I heard? That's what I heard. He attacks the mother. Just a little bit. He attacks the mother of his child. Come on. Drive home. She says Jordan and another man, Rahem Farrell, stabbed Dorn in the head and arm. Pause it. So these are the go back up, put the two uh put the two brothers back up there. These two brothers stabbed her in the head. Dang. Man. The grandmother. The grandmother. Yeah. The stabbed grandmother. her in the head, bro. What the, what wrong, brother? Our people are crazy, man. We bugged out. Now, what could have caused this? We don't know what caused it, but even nothing should have caused it. Right, right, right. Nothing's that. Nothing's that bad. He should have been a upright father. Right, taking care of his children, loving his family. You know what I mean? But like you say, hey, kids having kids. Like we don't even like you say, we don't even have discussions, or no one disagrees of a teenager because he's nineteen. Right. right. 
Nobody, nobody in our community, when we see kids as 16, 17, shoot, even 14, 15, 16 years old having kids, no one even bats an eye no, at no, that thing. It's, no. it's become normal. It's not even, right. It's not even a problem. They got their videos promoting this stuff. You got, what's the girl name? The sexy red lady promoting the stuff in her music. And that's what our people listen to. But this is, this is mad. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Hutching says her mother is in the hospital and stable. She says Jordan visited his daughter at the home often and had custody of her last week. Look at that. Now, how, how do you how do you murder your daughter, bro? Like, how do you murder twenty months old your twenty month old little girl? How do you what 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 goes on in the mind of a man that has this type of demonic spirit on him to come to the the house of his daughter? And kill him. Right. It, it don't make sense. Just don't make sense. <laughs> hey, put it, put it, put her back on the screen, man. Why, 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 why does she deserve to die? Why? Yeah. Like you said, it, it's nothing but a demon. Right. Because only a demon would look at a child, at his own child, at that. His right, own child. Like, like any baby. That's but your then flesh. Yours. And want to put that child to, and and not not on. You stabbing and all kind of stupid. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Come on, that that type of sh- brothers like that and our people. Only thing that's gonna fix that is them getting their black asses put to death. That's straight it. Up. Yeah, yeah. And it has to happen. It has to happen. Go ahead. Play. If he would kill his own daughter, making the deputy coroner Lonnie Miley says Bella was badly beaten and had multiple stab wounds when deputies arrested Jordan. Right now, both... Hold on, man. So they beat her and stabbed her multiple times. So, bruh. 20 months old. He beat her. And stabbed her. And stabbed her. So you like... Like, what are you doing? Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm That's a demon. That's a demon. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Let's let's get a script, man. Come on. You know you're the script guy. Come on. Come come on with it. (laughs) Sirach 42 and 9. Let's get it. Because, and that's why it's so hard for us to fathom, because when we read the scriptures and we get sanity from all the the, the traumas that we've dealt with in the world, it's hard to fathom what kind of mindset a person would be in destroying their own flesh and blood, their own children. So read this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 42, verse 9. Go ahead. The father waketh for the daughter. It didn't say the father waketh to kill the daughter. Read on. When no man knoweth, uh-huh. and the care for her taketh away sleep. It said the care for your daughter taketh away sleep. The care. What no, was the care in that situation? No care. It was none. You okay. killed your daughter. And usually they say when it comes to uh, murders dealing with the knife, those are crimes of passion. So yeah. where, what level of demon was that? The, the mother, it's gonna, I think something's going to come out yeah. where the mother was seeing somebody else or something like that. So wow. that shows how effeminate. That do what? Right. Usually women do shit like that. Hey, he what they what happened he, was they hey, hey they should have been married. Right. right. They, they, that's that, exactly. that, that this is the, this is the broken home. This is the this is the uh, uh an incident of a broken home. Right. Right. And those some the some boys is monsters. That's the yes. monster that's that's these menstruous women <laughs> are making. Yeah. Yep. You're All done right. with that? Come on. Yes, uh finish it out. Finish it out. When she is young. Lest, the, lest she pass away the flower of her age uh-huh. and being married, lest she should be hated. So she ain't even going to get to that level. Exactly. No. She's not even going to reach that phase. Dang. Let's go back to the uh, video. Coroner Lonnie Miley says Bella was badly beaten and had multiple stab wounds when deputies arrested Jordan. <sighs> right now, both Akeem Jordan and Rahem Farrell are in the Bibb County Jail charged with murder and aggravated assault. This isn't the first time Jordan has attacked someone in a similar way. So pause it. So pause it. He got he he got a history. This isn't the first time that this young man has attacked someone in a similar way. So he's psychotic. Right. He has a psychological issue that has not been dealt with. Yep. This is what's going on in this young man's mind. And we like the bishop's been going over. Uh, touched on a few things in class earlier this week. The psychological frozen state of our people. Right. It, we are frozen in a state where we are just evil as hell. All malice, all hate 
is is within that frozen state, and that's all we deal with. There's nothing good in this frozen, in this mental frozen state, this psychological frozen state that we're in. We only we 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 a people of destruction. And that's what's going on with this young man. If they knew this wasn't the first time that he's committed this type of act, why somebody ain't, ain't get him some help? Right. Now they probably locked him up. You ain't getting no help. You don't get help when you're locked up? No. Nah. Nah. You get crazier. And they put you right back out of society, do the same dumb thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Play on. Jordan also attacked the toddler's mother, Shandria Spencer, in May 2023. So he did this back. He, he attacked the mother way ago. back back yeah. in a year ago, May 2023. What you like to say? No restraining order. Nothing. Nope, not, none of that. He had custody of, 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 the, of the little girl. Just That's what prior. it said. Just a week prior. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah so he, they, he has, he has, they have uh, like joint, joint custody. custody. That's what it is. Who was the mother that he stabbed? Was it his mother? or the, No, it was the. It, it was hers. The, her mother. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Damn. Incident report. Spencer told officers that during a break in their relationship, she told Jordan she was seeing someone else. There it is. 20-month-old toddler, her 19-year-old father, Akeem Jamal Jordan, and 20-year-old Riley beaten and had multiple stab wounds when deputy. This isn't the first time Jordan has attacked wow. someone in a similar way. According to the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, Jordan also attacked the toddler's mother, Shandria Spencer, in May 2023. Uh-huh. According to an incident report, Spencer told officers that during a break in their relationship, she told Jordan she was seeing someone else. She said he started crying and then stabbed her with a small dagger. So pause. Wow. Hey, there it is. There it is. Wow. There it is. It was a. It was his friend. It was a close friend of his. She was seeing a close friend of his. Mm. So that disturbed. Like he was. He, he went to the point where he stabbed the mama. Yeah. Of his daughter. Yeah. The yeah. first time. Wow. He can't make it up. Let's finish that. Mm. Jessica Cha. 13WMAZ News. Bella's family mm. says they will hold her funeral at a later date. Her body is at the GBI crime lab right now. Now, we asked the Macon District Attorney's Office about the status of Jordan's 2023 charges. They said in the statement the magistrate court granted a bond for Jordan in May of 2023 after he attacked his daughter's mother. Hey, they go to it's... go to the show run, and there's a clip on there. It says, uh, there's something on there that says Kevin Gates. He hates his, uh... He hates his kids. Pull that up. It's on. It's gonna be on the show. Cause I'm gonna tell you, it, this he ain't. This ain't the only young man that's going through <laughs> that that that's done this or that's gonna do this. This is a, a epidemic right. or a pandemic in our community. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a real pandemic because nationwide, you got brothers that don't deal with the children's mother, right? right. And you got uh, the mother. That hates the the man that they laid down with to right. produce the child, right. mm-hmm. and you got adultery. I mean, fornicators all in the community. So we this this is the bowl of uh, uh, of, of hatred that we're dealing with. Right. And then what the mother's doing as she keeps that child away from the father, she's instilling all that hatred yep. inside the, oh, child. the father inside the child. So yep. when the father sees the child, the child is like, I don't know you, nigga. Oh, I hate you yep. and all type of stuff. And now so he now, hate everybody. Now he hates the child. He hates the mother. He has no connection now. All that stuff. That, that's just crazy. Yep. It's a big cycle, bro. Um, y'all gonna have to go to the TFT uh pack. I can hear y'all talking in there too. What? what what's, yeah, what? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go stroll down. Right it, there. It says, that, that, that one right there. Yes. Pull that up. Pull that up and hit play. Let's let's uh let's hear some of this right quick. Because you're gonna see some of these same brothers that they that that our people idolize, that the children grew up idolizing, they have the same thought process. You did not please start no car battery with your bare hands. If I didn't, may God murder my children. I don't even I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please yeah. kill them today. Right now, today. What? And kill his kid, kill his kids. What's what else is on that uh on that show run? What you got, Marshall? Uh Psalm two. Psalm two. Just start at verse one. We're gonna read down to three because these last couple of articles just show the type of state our people are getting in or or are falling into. Um just read that. Read that. 
Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Go ahead. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier, how they frame mischief by a law. And, and with today's media, they're putting out so many uh, different propagandas for the mind to where we're learning how to hate one another. Yep. Read on. The kings of the earth set themselves. Uh-huh. And the rulers take counsel together. So this is going back to that crafty counsel that they take. They, they're communing on these things regularly because they want us to start feeling a certain way about ourselves, looking at our children a certain way, looking at our wives a certain way. Read on. Against the Lord. Uh-huh. Against <laughs> the Lord first, read. And against his anointed. Against your own people. Right. We are the children of the anointed. We are those anointed people. But read on. Same. Let us break their bands asunder. So when we hear about fathers killing the children or even fathers talking about yeah let god kill my children just putting that out there now you're saying that that's okay like you you don't want to see your people the continue. swearing right that those swearing taking up oaths and making all these false living by falsehoods read on let us break their bands asunder go ahead and cast away their cords from us because as long as they can set us apart into our own, make us individuals. They can separate our unity. They can destroy us as a nation. So now they realize that God is going to defend us. But if we destroy ourselves, we've done the white man a favor. Right. So we got, we got to fix that thing, bro. Yep. Hey, go to, uh, go back to the TFT clip and pull up the link that says, uh, two women have a shootout. The two women that had the shootout. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. On the yes, yeah, on the second, it's on the second half under yeah. the under the middle column. Middle column. Yep. That's the one I'm thinking of. This the one in Memphis, isn't it? I think I saw. She was getting out of the car. Yeah. There you go, right there, at the top. Right the there. Shoulder. You got yep. it. Yeah, bring it over. Dang lord. She hey, hey, I'm telling you, black people crazy, man. <laughs> Black people crazy. We jacked up, boy. We ain't got no sense at all. Was this all. in the street? Yeah. From, yeah, from. I saw this. I saw this because the dude behind them was like, yo, I got I got my kids with me. Like, they at the house. I'm trying to get home. Right. Dang. Let's go. Let's let's share. All right. Start it over. Man, that's crazy. Come on. Yeah, we going to pop each other. We going to pop each other. We going to pop each other. We gonna pop each other. Come on, y'all put me fighting. What you scared for? What you scared for? Put the guns down. Put the guns down, bitch. Put the guns down, bitch. Put the guns down, bitch. Get in one. Get in one. Last time, I'm finna fire y'all shit up. Yeah, that's it. Nobody. Bitch, don't play with me. Bitch, I'll walk you hoes down. Bitch, don't play with me. Don't Look at that. They just walking around, just shooting in broad daylight. <laughs> Look at that. Bitch, don't play with me, ho. Bitch, don't play with me. Bitch, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Y'all heard this be shooting at me. Y'all heard this be shooting at me. Unbelievable. Bro, it's straight war zone, bro. Y'all yeah, got me fucked up. How's that for? Hey, yo, our yeah. people live in such... Up. Hold on, hold on. Our people live in such a war zone. Mm -hmm. you, you know, even in the military, don't they take cover? <laughs> Even in the military, they take cover. <laughs> Our people start shooting. They just start walking and talking trash in the middle of the street. And the bullets, you, just, and the bullets just bounce the off. The bullets just all around you. Bro. You're just walking and shooting in the street, talking trash. And then you film it. Right. Versus he, in the military, they even take cover. Our people crazy, man. As hell. As hell. Jose L401, man. And how long did it take the cops to come and pick her up? Oh, man, they didn't. No, yeah. they still ain't, why, they why, picked up now evidence. one of them. While he get that, get the next, get the next clip. Uh, Dang, that's crazy. Woman accused of beating <laughs> stepdaughter to death in Gwinnett County. Come on, get that one. Read that real quick. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Freedom. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Come on. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God got a problem with us, man. And we have yet to realize this thing. We, we, we jacked up, bro. We jacked up. We hate ourselves. Right. Come on. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Because we like truth, 
mercy and the knowledge of God, you got sisters in like World War Three in the middle of the street. Right. And they at, think it's that is crazy. Though. Yeah, it, 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 they don't think it's normal. No, it is. That is normal. Yeah, it is normal. <laughs> I thought I was hearing a dude talking. Right. No, I walk the old night. Yeah, yeah. She, was, hey, look, she, she had an extender on she it. Got thing. A, she right. got a phone out. Right. Look, she got a phone out. Pistol in one hand. She looking in the phone. He went good, man. Black, black, black. And recording. And recording, man. That's that's why I said I wonder how long it took the cops to come get her. That's crazy. That was the easy one. Hey. Verse two, by swearing. By swearing, that's black people. That's what that. That's, hey, that's what Kevin Gates did. That's what Kevin Gates did. Right. That's, that's what Kevin exactly. Gates, did. What Kevin right. Gates did. did. That picture should pop up right there. Bloop, black people. Come on. <laughs> and lying. Bloop, black people. And killing. Bloop, the black woman right. is crazy as hell nowadays. She commit more murders than the damn black man. Yeah. The hell. She has committed more murders than the black man. Oh, yeah. Man. Absolutely. 20 million. <laughs> 20, yeah, million. 20 million. 20 million. That, they, that's before the pistol hey, just before that's the, the pistols. Before the pistol come hey, out. Before the pistols, the black woman has killed countries. Damn. 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 They just brought that yeah, they nation. Just that big out. Yeah, uh, they just brought It is <laughs> countries with less people but, than bro, the black women done kill. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Read that's that. Read verse two again. By swearing. Come on. And lying. And killing. And stealing. And stealing. Come on. And committing adultery. Uh huh. They break out. They break out. And blood touch of blood. Blood touch blood, man. That's murder right. in broad daylight. We're going to hey, watch this. Pull up that clip. <coughs> now we're following a disturbing case out of Gwinnett County. This woman, 34-year-old Natalie Barros, is in custody, accused of murder in the death of her 8-year-old stepdaughter. Let's get right out to Atlanta News First Reporter <laughs> Rebecca Schramm. She's live at the Gwinnett County Jail in Lawrenceville. And Rebecca, that woman has just had her first court appearance. And that hearing, Rick, before a magistrate judge happened inside a small courtroom here at the Gwinnett County Jail. I'm looking through the arrest warrant in the case. And if you have kids in the room, just a warning for you. Some of the details are hard to hear. Ma'am, you have four felony charges. Do you know what they are? Wearing a jailhouse jumpsuit, 34-year-old Natiella Barros faced a judge whose job it is to make sure she understands the charges she faces. She told him she's a stay-at-home mom. He said he's not at liberty to grant bond. Do you understand that? Do you know what that means to you? You're going to be here for a while. Gwinnett County investigators believe the murder happened here at this home on Vine Springs Trace near Bethlehem. <laughs> According to the arrest warrant, detectives believe Barros took a wooden rolling pin and used it to beat her eight-year-old stepdaughter 10 to 20 times. A wooden? She started with a pin? A wooden bowling pin. Bowling pin. A bowling pin. A rolling pin. Ro rolling. Rolling. Oh, the, oh, the little dough. thing for dough. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it was the way I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, she so she beat her with what you roll biscuit, though. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Damn. Oh, that's just crazy. She that's hit up. Said he eight hit years up. old, man. Yeah, he's a stepdaughter. I'm telling you, hey, y'all brothers that's marrying these right. darn crazy right. sisters and you got kids, man. Look, they already hate you. Exactly. Be real with you. The black woman hate you. And you gonna go get her to come around your child? Well, you a single father? You, hey, you crazy? Yeah. You crazy? Damn boy, you ain't no way. Son, uh, you know, women already be competing with they with the daughters and stuff in the house now. Right? Shrieking crazy. Instead of all women looking at their daughters as as daughters, they looking at them as competition. Right. In the house now, you gonna bring a woman in there to look at your daughter as competition mm. with her winning your love over, and she gonna kill your daughter because you love your kids. Freaking crazy, man. Yeah. All right, no. Hey, finish that real quick. Mm. ...believe Barros took a wooden rolling pin and used it to beat her 8-year-old stepdaughter 10 to 20 times, including on the top portion of her neck, and then refused to get medical care for her. Yeah. She called her husband, who's the girl's father, police tell us. He rushed home, called 911, and attempted CPR on his daughter, but it was too late. Now, his wife, the girl's stepmother, is charged with first-degree child cruelty, aggravated assault, felony murder, and malice murder. Neighbor Isaac Woods was stunned to see all the police activity across the street Tuesday. Nice and happy family to me. Yeah. 
look like it. Now, Barros could try mm, for bond mm, mm, when the case gets to Superior Court. We have the victim's name, but we're not releasing it until we're certain that the girl's biological mother has been notified. Wow. wow. So, they, so when this report came out, they don't even know if the, if the biological mom even knew yet. Mm, read that again, bro. Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. This is, read on. Read. Verse 3. Therefore shall the land mourn. Though the land is going to mourn. Come on. And every one that dwelleth therein shall languish. Uh huh. With the, the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Read on. Yet let no man strive, strive, nor reprove another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, mm -hmm. and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night. Mm -hmm. And I will destroy thy mother. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So because we hate the knowledge of God, we hate the knowledge of righteousness, come on, all of this, all, all of this is happening to us because we fell from the glorious grace of God that we have yet to pick this Bible up and realize that this whole book is talking about us. Come on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. We reject the knowledge. The men come out to teach, preach the word, give our people the, the, uh, uh, the, the true sense of what we should be doing on the earth. Our people don't want to hear that. No, right. Right. You go to these same communities to bring the truth out, they don't want to hear that. Right. The lady told us at the, uh, at the one blitz, why don't y'all pick another day to do this? What? You don't sit your blonde hair... <laughs> Pants wearing, right? Saggy face, on down, somewhere. This word going out today because right, our right, people right. are here today. Ain't no better time than now. Read on. That's because right. thou has rejected knowledge. Uh huh. I will also reject thee. So because we don't reject the knowledge of God, the Lord said, "You know what? I'm gonna reject y'all too. Let's hey, go. Go ahead and dally with the, the the things that your oppressor has given you to to to, to play with and to deal with on this earth, and watch how it destroys y'all. Right. Come on." That thou shalt be no priest to me. We're not a, we, we were not a priest to the Lord anymore at this time. But we, we are coming back. In these last days, the men are raising up and we're changing the minds of our women, those that want to repent, those that want to change their lives and not be in the street with a damn uh, 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 a halt switch. Top, right. You know what I'm saying? Halter <laughs> top, a a top, top and a gun. Halter top and a holster, God. A halter top and a holster hose. Come on. Seen, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Uh -huh. I will also forget thy children. So we wonder why all of this is taking place. Right. Hey, go to the next clip. Go back to the go back to the uh the article list. What there you go. Now share it. Okay, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Who were you just talking? You were just talking to somebody. Who were you just talking to? My son, he came over here, he found that I was asleep. I mean, and he had his kids in to go to school because they go from my house. And he seen the baby on my suit. Oh, my God, help me. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. I need you to stop. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. I need you to help. I need you to take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Right Ma'am, you weren't crying when you, but I heard you talking to him. You were fine, and then when I picked up, you started crying. I need you to tell me what's going on. I'm, I'm crying. I'm outside screaming. What happened? But he keeps telling me to come down. I don't what know happened? What, all I know is my son came in here and woke me up and said, Mama, the baby's dead. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What am I going to do? Because she killed this baby. Oh, God. Okay, why, why are you saying she killed the baby? Because the baby is in the room. Here, talk to my son. About How old is the baby? The baby is pretty much. Oh, my God. I'm going to Hello? What happened? I don't know. This house is big. I don't know where my little cousin is. So can you please? Where is the three-month-old baby? Ba the baby, lady, the baby is on my mama's kitchen counter with his head. F and I need you to please send me. Okay, is it a male or female? I know where my little cousin is at. Now, if I your little girl pop up with a weapon, I'm not gonna have a little cousin no more. 
So can you please just, I know, I know it's probably about, can you please just send the police? It says okay, yeah. we, I need to know what happened to the baby. You need to send the damn police, Katie. You talking about the damn baby? She told you, came to the house, the baby was on the counter. My mom was in the bed, I woke my mom up, and we calling you. That's all I know. I don't know nothing else. I have a little cousin, she was here, I don't know Okay, okay, else. okay, listen to me, listen to me. Is the baby breathing? How the she hell the baby she breathing she and he told her that the baby head cut off? I don't get it. I don't get it. One, I don't know what the hell happened in this damn house right here. <laughs> Why and who in the hell cut this baby head off? Right. Mm. They said the little cousin, the, the cousin obviously has vanished. And now the mama, I, I don't know. The mama, this, the, I might be tripping, but the mama, she sound like she know. Because she's. Because the mother started screaming, going. I'm going to jail. Oh, my God, I'm going to jail. That's what she was saying in the background. Right. That's what when I was, I couldn't hear it too well. That's what I was trying to hear. When she got off the phone. But this damn lady just Man. asked the brother, is the baby breathing? And he just told her that the, the head damn head is off. off the baby. Come on, let, back it up just a little bit. And play. Is the baby breathing? Listen, lady. The baby is deceased. Okay, okay. All right, we're sending the police and an ambulance, right. okay? Mama. What is your name, sir? Mama. See? Hello? What is your name? I'm Robert Stewart. And who is the mother of the child? Huh? Who is My the mother? The Asia. Oh, what is the Asia last name? Washington. Is she there right now? No, I don't know where she's at. That's the problem. I don't know where this little girl is at. I don't even know if she's in this house. It's a, it's a big house, lady. Please, I'm not. I don't want to look for. Her. I don't want to look for. Her. So if you please, please send the police. Listen to me, sir. We already have the run started, okay? All right. So no one has any idea what happened to the child. Listen, lady. You can, I cannot explain to you what happened because I do not know. Nobody knows. It happened sometime in the middle of the night. Okay. That's can you what 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 do you see when you look at the child? What? Children, look, this lady. I don't want to describe the scene. This screen is very, very bad. All right, the little lady, the little baby, head is <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going in there to touch nothing, cause I don't want to mess nothing up. I'm not going in there to look, cause I already seen. It, but it's not. It's very violent. It's a very violent thing. All right, it's very violent. All right, sir. Very we have violent. police, the fire department responding out. All right, now, I gotta go back to the park, and my kids is outside. I don't know where this girl is at. Now, so the girl, pause it. So the girl. Must be the mother. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Grandma in the bed asleep. And it sounded like she done saw the damn baby. I'm just I'm just speculating. I ain't the damn police. Right. I ain't no damn detective. It but that's like two people dead there. It sounded like uh, uh, two people. Nah, one. No, one person. It's the baby. baby. It's only the baby. The, 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 the cousin is missing. Right. That's who baby it is. She done cut her. It sounded to me like she done cut the baby head off. And she done high tail it out there. Right. The dude said, I'm not going looking for her because she might have a weapon or something like that. Right. Yeah. And I won't have a cousin no more because I'm right. going to defend yeah. myself. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. So we getting the, we are right, putting it together. Come on, play. Dang. I gotta go out here with them. See, come outside, man. You gotta pick. Cause I gotta be out there with them. My kids are scared. I'm not looking nowhere. Cause if I see her, you gonna kill her. <laughs> Mommy, I'm ready to die. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Miss Stewart. Okay, yeah, can, can I speak video. can I speak to your mom? Mom, the lady wanna talk to you. Hello. Okay, ma'am, listen to me, okay? We have help on the way. What I'm do you ready think to die, lady. What do, oh what do you think God. happened? <laughs> what happened to the baby? I don't know. My son wouldn't let me go. He just, I don't know. <laughs> I was Can't dying. Are you talking about your daughter? Killing my niece, I want to call my daughter. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so nobody can tell me what happened? No. My niece is scared. Oh, my God.
the damn mail. With no sign of the baby's mother, the sense of panic and confusion is palpable in equal measure. The only thing that is definitive is that an innocent little baby has been viciously and callously killed. It's not easy to listen to the sheer horror in the voice of the baby's aunt as she tries in vain to comprehend what is happening. But as the investigation would later unfold, more details emerged to paint a picture of events on that horrible day. The mother of the baby was 20-year-old Dezia Watkins, and she yep, was subsequently charged with aggravated murder after local children raised the alarm with the family and law enforcement at approximately 6 a.m. on the morning of the incident. It was then that the harrowing discovery of the baby was made in the house. The traumatized auntie of the stricken baby believed that the local family services department at Hamilton County had failed the infant and the family. In the weeks prior to the tragic incident, law enforcement and Hamilton County Family Services had raised and documented that there was a troubling relationship between the mother and the baby. In January of 2015, the police received calls. So, so hey, 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 how you have a troubling... So, but, right. yeah, back so that's, like, that's like DSS here. Right. A person called and raised a, a concern about the parent with the child or whatnot stating that 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 child shouldn't be with that parent. Mm -hmm. And then they're saying that I don't I can't remember what they called that one, but it would be the equivalent disturbing, of DSS. A disturbing relationship child services. Uh, right. right. And so you have DSS within supposed to come to the house, examine and check check everything out with the police and make sure everything is 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 all right in the house. Or they would take the child and put it with another family mm -hmm. member for them to take care of the child while the parent is supposed to get therapy and all of that stuff to get themselves in order before they get the child back. And they're saying that that system failed them. Yeah. But they'll quickly use that system against a parent that's doing right. Mm. And they'll come and remove the kids up out the house. But a parent that obviously has, has a history of mistreating the child, they didn't do nothing. Right. Now you got this incident. This is what they would prefer to see in our community. Yeah. This is what they would prefer. Of course, play on. We got some up, I was just going to say, man, and you notice a lot of these issues, you can see there's a a, a level of mental illness yeah, in man. our people. Yeah. yeah. Get, get Deuteronomy 28, 28 real quick. Yeah. Our people are really suffering badly from mental illness. And and these drugs that they're taking, <laughs> depression, all type yep. of stuff, is, is and it's rampant nowadays. Yep. Because there's no sense of family. There's no male figure in the home. Right. There's no stability, nothing. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Our people have been smitten with craziness now. Mm -hmm. Literal, unadulterated craziness to the point where they, they can't even see that they're acting crazy. They're turning against their children. Who yeah. cuts off their child's head and leaves it on the kitchen? That's some horror movie shit. Right. 28, uh, 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 a a crazy 20 year old person. Mother. A 20 year old. With the with the baby, how do you have a disturbing relationship with the baby? Right. How did that, that ain't that ain't even supposed to go together? Right. I'm wondering what that means. A disturbing relationship. Yeah. Abusive as hell. Yeah, yeah, abusive. Yeah. Shut that off real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, read it again. And read it from the top. Yes, sir. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. We we're living the effects of these curses now because we went against God's laws. Now the only way back from this foolishness is His laws. But he smote us with this craziness, read. And blindness. And we're completely blind, read. And astonishment of heart. Every single one of us here, we watching these videos. We I, I've watched everybody's whole yeah. face change once we got from Trump to this foolishness here. It's astonishment. Our people are in astonishment right now. Yeah, man. We've been bugged the hell out, bro. Straight up. Bugged out. Bro. All right, go back. Let's finish this real quick and run out of time. <laughs> was the father of Janiah. Neighbors claimed to have heard loud screams coming from the property. One neighbor who witnessed firsthand the screams and troubles claimed that Deja had been acting strange and even talking in tongues. Mm -hmm. As more details and wow. yeah. oh, 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 pa, pa, pa. So she, this, 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 that, she, this that Christianity right here. Yes. It's Christianity. Talking in tongues? Yeah, we yes. see why she was bugged out. Wow. She's crazy as hell. Talking in tongues. Damn. Christianity. That's a product of the Christian doctrine. Right, and that's that next verse. Groping at noonday. Yep, read that. Man. Verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. So you're uh -huh. looking for a way out. 
And now these women, they, they call themselves spiritual. Oh, and, and 99% of these women that are in the Christian church now, today, they're bugged out of their minds. Yes. That, that's some cult stuff. Right. right. She yes. should have been speaking in whatever they call tongues or whatever. That, you know, she could have been in that little voodoo crap yeah, or right. what they voodoo doing. Sacri- and then she might have sacrificed her own gathering child. Unreal. And they're talking about the, well, y'all nam ye ye wing ting ting yo. Yo, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <that's> really <laughs> Read on. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Come on, now just and, go ahead. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled every uh, evermore. And no man shall save thee. So that's this this is the mental state yeah. of our people. If going back to that psychological frozen state, that Willie Lynch. Mm-hmm. Letter. Right. Like I said, and no man shall save you. That system will not save you. No. Right. And they knew if the, they had more details about a prior relationship with the mother, the father, and the, and the uh, baby prior to this it, yeah, ever even happening. Yeah. All right. Hey, play on. As more details and evidence emerged, it became apparent that all was not well with the baby's mother. Officials later found Watkins significantly under the influence of and speaking in tongues. While family members... Uh, I, I don't like right, that. I, I don't like that nah, beat right there. Significantly under the influence of Christianity. We're right. just saying, yeah, Christianity. I, I want to know what was beat out. Yeah, Christ, Christ, know. Christian, Christian doctrine. The Christian doctrine. Come as you are. You know what I'm saying? Thank yeah. You. Yeah, that's that's we're gonna leave it. We don't know because hell, they bleeped it out. But we know if she was speaking in tongues, she thought she was a Christian. Right. Come on. Diagnosed with postpartum psychosis, she'd even been prescribed an antipsychotic medication called as a result of her condition. Hey, can we pause right quick? But it was yeah, like- pause right quick. So, so postpartum is a real thing right. that our sisters deal with after they had a baby. Mm-hmm. And and a lot of times they don't understand the biggest thing you can do for postpartum is come together. Let's get Hebrews 10 right mm-hmm. quick. Mm-hmm. That is actually the fix for postpartum. Get out of the house, take your child with you, and go get around other people that care about you. Let's get that. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is. Go ahead. But exhorting one another. Mm-hmm. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. And that's what happens whenever you come together around Mm -hmm. people that love you and care about you and your child. If you got postpartum, they'll be able to see, yo, you all right? You straight? Hey, I'll babysit so you can get a break. Because sometimes our sisters get, you know, they single mothers and they get with the child. And then they sitting there not knowing that she's a baby for one, 20 years old, having a baby. And no one really, you know what I'm saying? She got the baby by herself, obviously, because no one was home when she did what she did. So she's sitting there, baby probably crying, whatever was going on. Now, of course, she was under the influence of something. But this stuff is real in our community, and it's not being addressed. And our people don't understand the fix is to get around people that love you and care about you so these things don't happen because people can help you get through that. But, of course, we don't know nothing like that because we don't read the Bible. We don't follow instructions, so we like, well, I can do it on my own. That's how we ended up with the child in the first place. Right. You want to do it on your own. Now, you don't know what to do with them. Now, you got postpartum. Now, you're trying to deal with it, and you're getting, taking drugs and everything else. It's crazy, mm-hmm. man. Committing murder. Committing murder. Committing murder and voting for Donald Trump. Damn. Disaster. Damn. Play on. We're going to get through this, and then we're going to shut it down. Actually, been taking it or not at the time the incident took place. So she wasn't taking. She, she, the they don't know if she was. They don't know if she was taking the meds, but she was on meds. Taken from Watkins by police officials who were concerned about the developing situation. But Watkins didn't let her baby go willingly, and she refused to give her up leaving the police no choice but to physically remove her. As a result of this episode, it was Watkins's auntie who was granted a temporary three-month custody of the child, and the mother had been banned from having any contact with her child following her hospitalization. So, boom. So, they did yeah. take so her. So, they did take so her. So, she went to her aunt's house. Yes. So, she went in there while the, while the aunt was asleep. That's why the mother was frantic, as frantic as she was. Well, she woke up. Mm-hmm. The, the the cousin walked in, or the, the, the nephew walked in and saw the baby on the counter and went and woke her up. So she was asleep. She was while asleep. The baby got killed. Yes. Come on. 
Golly. ...went really wrong. Despite the special order insisting that Dezia was to have no contact with her baby, she convinced her auntie to allow her to move into her house with what? her aunt. Wait, wait, oh. stop. That, that's, that's how she... she go to jail. Yeah, that's yeah. why the aunt says she gonna go yeah. to jail. When you right. say you heard her say this, because she allowed her to move in yeah, her right. and that's after why, she wasn't and that, supposed to be yeah. around. And then that's why the nephew said he don't see her. She, he don't know where she at. It's right. a big house. She done got up out of there. Right. Wow. Let's go. Play and on. Auntie feeling feeling that remorse now, that guilt. Full of that. Right. Yep. Cause she allowed that thing to happen by she bringing probably, her in she there. She probably knew that that child didn't have no right to be in there. No, she that. knew because that's how she ended that up the with order. the baby. Yeah, the, order. the order. So she ended up with the child because of that, mm -hmm. and she let her move in there, having sympathy, not understanding. Look, you just put this baby in, danger, in danger, and you right. and you right. think you're gonna danger. be able to watch over like you gonna stay woke twenty four hours a day. Cause she knows she broke the order. Yeah, you know. Man. Let's play that morning played out it also goes a long way to explain the sheer despair of the aunt mm -hmm. when she made that initial 911 call and why she could be heard saying that she was going to jail right. it was because the aunt had allowed her to move into the property against the wishes of the courts and the police although clearly affected by the events that unfolded and what had happened to his child he stated that she'd never said anything specifically to him about wanting to hurt their baby but despite this, he did concede that she had been acting strange. He suggested that when he spoke with her, it felt different. And it was almost as if he wasn't actually talking to her. Dang. She was like somebody demon. else. Yeah. When the Hamilton County Coroner's report was released, the findings of what had happened to the three-month-old Janaya Watkins were both gruesome and shocking. The coroner found there was stab wounds to the face and head of the helpless baby she went crazy i'm assuming multiple i'm yeah. assuming there was multiple yeah. stab right. wounds yep you know that is golly man. come on we're almost done from the tiny body sources say that the knife that had inflicted the catastrophic trauma had been placed into the hand of the infant the baby's mother who was subsequently charged for the horrific act had been offered a plea deal in 2016. However, she rejected the deal and instead chose to pursue an insanity plea. Incidentally, it was a number of months before Watkins was deemed fit enough to stand trial, and she had to undergo a significant amount of rigorous psychiatric evaluation. Deja's defense lawyer was an attorney called Norman Aubin, and although he was under no illusions about the gravity of the crime, and was by no means playing down the significance of what his client had done, he believed that it was the history of the young mother that made the case viable and felt that the insanity plea was just and appropriate. The fact that Deja Watkins had significant history with mental illness and had been prescribed medication to try and control psychotic episodes just a matter of weeks before she came to Hey, stop, her stop, 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 stop. Now, no, it don't. No, it but don't now, some of the medicine... I don't remember these names, but I know, you know, you work you work in certain fields and you see people get subscribed or prescribed these medications. So the medication actually it the side effects are suicidal and murder thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's the side effect uh, of it, the medicine. It induces Not, that. Right. And right. so uh who did a class on it? It was a uh, fix your face with Captain Palu, I think it was a week or two ago. And they went over that, uh, what is it that they, what is that? What's the thing where the kids got too much energy and they start ADHD. giving them? Yeah, ADHD, ADHD stuff, ADHD. stuff and they start giving them medicine. Really? They don't live to be 50 years old because they go, they own drugs all their life and they end up murdering people, getting murdered and going crazy because they own this medication. Yeah. And she's got a history of that already. So she's probably been diagnosed with this yeah. already. And then the medicine they give for depression makes you want to kill yourself or others around you. That is a side effect of it. Mm. We got, hey, y'all got to look that up so we can prove what I'm saying. Because I've seen this. I've looked this stuff up for real. It exists. I know that research is out there. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to look it up and send it up. I'm going to look it up and send it to you. We're almost done with this. Might well finish enough. it up. For her defense lawyer to get behind the prospect of a plea of insanity the verdict of the trial would be dependent on if watkins would be found not guilty for reasons of insanity however if found guilty of aggravated murder then she faced the daunting prospect of 15 years to life behind bars but in february of 2017 there was an unexpected twist in the outcome of the trial 
Watkins pleaded guilty to the murder of her three-month-old baby girl, Janiya. She was subsequently sentenced to 15 years in federal prison, but with an eligibility for parole after she had served 13 years of the term. After previously rejecting the initial plea deal, her lawyers found some conflicting reports in the medical records and doctor's statements of Watkins. It appeared that there seemed to be some question about the validity of whether or not she did indeed have a mental illness. According to the prosecuting team, <laughs> there was substantial and significant evidence that pointed to the fact that she did indeed understand what she was doing, and she recognized just how wrong her actions had been. This was something that wouldn't have been the case of somebody that was acting with mental incapacity or insanity her defense team acknowledged the gruesome nature of the murder and agreed to the plea deal on the day she was found guilty diazia claimed that regardless of what people may think or say she did love that baby heartbreakingly the grieving family of the tiny child were never able to find out what led watkins to commit such a horrendous crime all right so and i get one yeah well yeah, you can, you can get one. It's gonna be cool. the, the 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 sister. She was bugged out. You gotta yeah, you, yeah. you don't you don't yeah. do that if you ain't bugged out. But I know of instances where br brothers and sisters play bugged out long enough where you they 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 get good at being right. bugged out, and they really ain't bugged out, and end up getting a check. End up you know they they right. it's, it's I I've I got cousins that have done it. Played crazy long enough, and they people thought it was crazy. He did it all to get a check. He started it when he was like 10 years old. Started acting crazy. Yeah. By the time he was 12, 13 years old, he had a full-blown check. What? Nothing wrong with Harold. Not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, gift, that gift yeah. destroyed the heart. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Let's get Matthew 24 and 12 because Christ spoke about this thing, man. Because a lot of our root mental illness is just rooted in our mind being committed to, uh, committed to sin. That's what it is. So let's read that. Matthew chapter 24 verse 12 uh -huh. And because iniquity shall abound Because iniquity is growing and multiplying With all the evils in this world Read on The love of many shall wax cold The love of many Israelites is waxing cold Against our own people Our own children Our own mothers Our own fathers Our own wives our, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's terrible But it's prophecy it was already prophesied for these things to happen in these last days. We're seeing that Christ was giving us everything truthfully. So in these last days, what we got to do is understand that we got to come out of this sin. We, we got to combat the sin. We got to go against the throne of iniquity that's saying that these things are okay because the so-called white man was just sitting there beside her trying to lie not only to the government to get her off, but make her feel good about what she did. Right. Eventually, some sense came into us and said, nah, I did kill my child and ain't nothing wrong with me. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, did you find what you're looking for? Yep, I'm finna send it right now. All right, send that over there real quick. And, uh, yeah, man, today's show's pretty good. I know we're over our time. You got a little bit of editing to do, my brother. Hey, we, hey, we definitely want to uh, uh, give a shout-out to Officer Get Alive, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> man, on the show Chop today. The bomb, hey, he's be back. All praise to the most high. We had to create an extra seat up here for him. You know what I'm right. saying? I mean, <laughs> yeah, hey, I put it in the articles. I put it in the articles. All right, y'all get that. TFT and pull it up pull real it up, quick. And I'll tell you, tell you where to go so you can see this thing. Because a lot of time my people rely on this medicine and that thing will mess you up. I used to work with a dude that took antidepressant medicine. Mm -hmm. And he got off of it because he admitted that he was having suicidal thoughts. And he found out that was one of the side effects. How can a side effect of an antidepressant make it, you it makes you depressed? No, it to, makes you more depressed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so what about those that that come off the meds and still lack nuts? No, you know what I'm saying. They got they go and try to find something else. But <laughs> for real, yeah, oh, like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> bugged out. Hey, go to go to go to Romans 15:4 while we're waiting on them to pull it up. Did y'all get it yet? And articles and TFT articles. Yeah, read Romans 15, 4 right quick. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Cause we read this a lot. Go ahead. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So we are, we are supposed to be learning. We are supposed to be learning from the things of the past. Go ahead. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Our hope only comes from the Bible. That's we right. don't get hope from nothing else. So when we want to get hope in politicians with shoes, them passing laws, or get hope in medication and stuff like that, these things are not for us. They are to make us worse. Mm -hmm. 
That's why we kill each other. They're go poor trying to look a certain way. All kinds of crazy stuff. And they play off of that to make a, to, to show how far we've fallen. You got it yet? Yeah, there we go. So, so right here, zoom in on it. Zoom in on it. All right, so just read that right quick. That first, the big, the title. <laughs> yes, sir. Side effects. Antidepressants. All right, scroll down just a little. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go ahead and scroll a little faster. You got to scroll. I know we kind of kind of press for time. Right here, read that very, like, like read this, read that, that, uh, that little paragraph and then that very first bullet point. Yes, sir. Common side effects of selective serotonin. Serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin. serotonin. Mm -hmm. Non-adrenaline. Uh, nor, 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 nor Ritalin. Adrenaline yeah. Reuptake inhibitors can include. What's the first, first one? Agitation. So if your baby is crying, it magnifies it. If you are already depressed, it magnifies it. Go ahead. Shaky or anxious. So you got anxiety now. You depressed. Now you're getting anxiety. And a lot of our women are like that. Deal with, with our that. Children. Heck yeah. A lot of them are. They like that food. before the medicine. Right. Now you get the medicine and it magnifies it. So now that it magnifies it, go all the way down. All the way. They're getting headaches, loss of appetite, all this stuff. Scroll all the way down on the, on the article. Keep going all the way, all the way, because they put it at the very, very bottom. Hold on. Let's go. Dang, you don't. Yeah. Right here. Here we go. Read that. Suicidal thoughts. In rare cases, some people experience suicidal thoughts uh -huh. and a desire to self-harm when they first take antidepressants. Read that next part. Young people under 25 seem particularly at risk. That sister was 20, 20 years, years 20 old. Years. Dang. Mm -hmm. That wrong. stuff is right. in in all this stuff in medical, and it is in our communities, and it is taking us out. Hey, go up on the article. I thought I saw something. Go up just a little bit. Go up, 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 up. Go ahead. Oh, it was, hold on, hold on right there. Let me see. Yeah, the, the confusion, agitation. Mm -hmm. Muscle twitching. Yeah. Uh, Go up a little bit. Right there. That bottle says the side effects should ease after a couple of weeks or a couple of weeks as your body begins to get mm. used to medicine. But that ain't what I read. To go up. Right there. These side effects should improve within weeks, although some can occasionally persist. That meaning they don't right. go right. away. Right. 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 right, right, right. They don't go away. So, you know, they got to they gotta throw a little something yeah, in there. Yeah, they, they put all of that hey, in there this, and put that little bit of spot. This is like one of them commercials. Uh, what well, they tell you, uh, oh, this medicine does this, and it makes you feel this, and you will get and at, that. And at the and bottom, then, at the end of the commercial, they say, the "Hold on." <laughs> at the end of the commercial, they talk slow. They say, "You know, yeah, and if you're feeling this, you know, you can feel this good, and it'll help you get like this, and you'll be like that. But if you have any side effects, yeah, and the drug speed, yeah, and the drug speed, yeah, 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 well, why the hell did I why, take would, that? why would you right. take right. that? Right. You go make yourself worse. Right. But, right. But that's what that's what that's what people that are depressed, that's what they take in. Oh, and that's what it's side. doing to them. And so she's bugged out because she was already dealing with that stuff, went and got diagnosed, and then it's, it magnified everything she was dealing with instead of making her better. Because she praise. didn't have the Bible. Hey, All well, praise. we appreciate y'all tuning in and we're gonna end this show right there. Hey, round of applause for the show, man. Doing a good job. If you want to continue to help support our show, we're still working on things, y'all. We're trying to make it a little bit better. We're going to get better and better as we continue to have the show. Then you can always donate at iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org and put in the comments, radio show. We're going to start getting into the books and stuff later. Like, you know, you know, uh, our hidden history, they, they be on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, definitely we appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, till the next time, I'm Officer Kalaya to my right. Oh, say you time. To my far right. Oh, say get a liar. To my left. Oh, say you want to And to my far left. Officer Marshall. And you've been tuned in to another episode of the Final Trumpet Radio Show. We look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. All right. Shalom. Most high in Christ bless. Shalom. 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 Christ bless. Christ bless.
Hey, we're living the book of the acts. I carry my cross in my back. My home is so stuck in the trap. Going hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pacing through all of my walls. Been pacing through all of my walls. And I'm out here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean all the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance. We're strong in the Lord and His might now. All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same. Wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain. And the people that I love, they think that I've gone insane. It's only a few to stay true and some tripping Danger if you got no clue when you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning Oh, that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I move with no vision I'm moving like fuck to my mind steady swimming